guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rin, and today I'm going to bring you guys with me to a Thai temple fair in Singburi, Thailand. Actually, this fair might not be like literally Thai temple fair because it did take place on the temple ground. But anyway, the vibe and the activities there are just like temple fairs. So if you guys want to know what activities are waiting for you guys when you go to the temple fair, then just follow me. Here we are. Let's go inside. It's free to join this fair. Firstly, in temple fairs, the street food is always there for you. So you don't have to worry if you haven't had your dinner. Some fries, roasted pork, fried squid eggs, some sausages, fish mao soup, a Chinese food, fried insects. One of my favorite Thai snacks, Kanom Beung. It's the same kind of snack that I introduced to you in my last video. Grilled chicken. Sweet chestnuts. Some lollipops. And Kanom Beung again. Noodles. Some temple fairs like this one have tables for you to sit and enjoy your food. There are many games for you to play and compete for the prize. Let's begin with the most popular game in the temple fair, balloon and dart game. Each tent might have different rules for this game, but mostly the rule is that you have to pop the balloons with every single dart you've got for a turn. For example, this tent will give you 4 darts for a turn, which means you have to pop 4 balloons in a row to get a prize. It costs 20 baht for each turn. <laughs> Next are the drawing lots. The lots are in these plastic egg boxes. This game, you will get a prize if you can make the dart hit the form sheet but not stick or stuck in the sheet. This is a can shooting game. You will get a prize if you can make those three cans fall down. Next, a doll shooting game. If you shoot the doll and it fall down, the door is yours. Another shooting game. 20 by 4 turn. You win a prize if you can make the star in the middle of the paper completely disappear by shooting at it. For me, this is the hardest game in the fair because shooting at the star is not enough, but the whole star has to be ripped out of the paper. But let's try for fun! <laughs> Now let me show you the activities for kids. This is one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid. Painting plaster dolls. This activity is feeding animals. You have to pay for the food so that you can feed them. This time the food are carrots. But if they are only the goats, sometimes you will get a bottle of milk to feed them instead. Another popular activity in the temple fairs is fish catching. You get a tool like this to catch the fish. You have to be as gentle as you can because the tool is made from paper. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.